Hi everyone, Mom It Forward community and supporters. We're happy to be here with you today. We're celebrating Mom It Forward's fifth birthday for the GNO Twitter chats. Um, we are doing something a little different today. If you've ever joined any of our uh, superhero family Google Hangouts, we do those every Wednesday. Um, today we decided just to do a community hangout, just a, a little bit different and a little bit um, just for a little bit more fun for today and all the celebrations that we're having. I have two of my lovely team members here with me. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. And I've sent out our link, which I'll do again. Um, so anyone that's interested in hopping onto our chat can certainly do that. I'm going to let the, my two lovely teammates introduce themselves while I get this link out so people are able to hop onto this chat if they want to. So Marissa, do you want to start us off? Sure. My name is Marissa Huntsman. I am an account associate for Moment Forward, and I handle the GNO Twitter parties that happen every week on Twitter. Uh, Jill? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jill Greenlaw, and I've worked with Moment Forward for a little over two years, and I've worn many hats for Moment Forward. Um, I've done social media. Um, I was the community manager for a while, and um, now I'm over editorial and also sales. So I um, do quite a few things for Mom at Ford and love being part of this group with these fun gals. Perfect. Okay, and I, I guess I didn't technically introduce myself, did I? So maybe that's a good idea if I'm technically hosting this. So <laughs> my name is Lindsay Peterson. I am the social media and community manager for Mom at Forward. And I've got a little bit of the Kung Fu movie action going on with my mouth. So like the it's not quite jiving up. So hopefully that adds a little bit to the fun <laughs> rather than distracting. Um, we did go ahead and send out a link to this. Like I said, this is the first time we've ever done one where we just invited anyone on. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but we are going to talk about birthdays today. So. I'm going to ask these lovely ladies that didn't get any heads up that I was going to ask them things. <laughs> I'm going to ask them some questions, and we're going to talk about birthdays. And that's pretty easy, right? You guys didn't have to study up for that. I think you've had a few birthdays. Um, Just a few. <laughs> like, like 12 or 13, right? Okay, yes. so Jill, we're going to start with you. Um, tell me your most memorable birthday. Oh, my heavens. Most memorable. Really, we did not have any heads up on this. Okay. Um, I would have to say that my most memorable birthday was when I was um, 17. Um, I, my parents, um, love to surprise me. And I don't like, I like surprises, but I don't like surprises. So I always want to know what the surprises are before, um, which like ruins the surprise, but whatever. So I wanted a Letterman's jacket for my birthday. And my parents, and Letterman jackets are very expensive, as many of you know. And my parents actually, um, so for my birthday, I got all these really small presents. And it was nothing that I had asked for. And I, I'm sure I was a complete brat during that time, because I'm like, well, where's the Letterman jacket? And there was no Letterman jacket. And so um, at the at the end of opening presents or whatever, um, my parents, uh, you know, they kind of acted like that was the end. And then at the very, very end, they're like, oh, we have one more surprise for you. And they brought out a Letterman jacket, and I completely lost it. I, like, cried and cried and cried. Oh, so you cried? Ever, does that make me a spoiled brat? I, I don't know, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is the most memorable because they really saved a lot of money for that and they knew how important that was to me and they tried to make it special. I just told them never to do that again. That was not that was not fun, the, the way that they did that. But <laughs> it, it is a good memory. I mean, they, they came through and gave me a present that I really wanted and it has a lot of meaning. I show my kids and, and um, you know, it's, it, it was a fun birthday. It ended up being good. So you're not a surprise person? You don't want a surprise? You know, I like to be surprised, but then I don't like to be surprised, so I don't know. That don't actually doesn't that make question. any sense at all. Like, give me some <laughs> details of the surprise without telling me everything, but I don't know. The way they went about that and kind of made me feel like I wasn't going to get what I wanted, maybe that's just 
calls me a brat. I don't know. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I love it. Okay. Okay. Marissa, what about you? Um, mine would probably be when I turned 22, I think it was. And I, my friend had, her parents had this huge house, and we just had this giant party with like 100 people. Nice. And we, we had a, a rock band going on upstairs. We had food in the kitchen. We had dancing all over. The cops got called on us eventually because we were too wow. loud. That's hardcore. Probably mine. <laughs> That's really cool. So for me, I, I wish I could find the evidence, and I know I have it somewhere in a blog post, but I can't. I can't figure out really quick where it is. So my mom decided to throw me a sweet sixteen party. And in order to get me out of the house, where I lived was right on the border of Virginia and North Carolina. And in order to get everyone there from kind of this big region, she had to get me out of the house. And the only way she could think to do that was to um, have me set up to get uh, glamour shots. And <laughs> I was 16, obviously. and. If you knew me before age like 25, I didn't really like comb my hair or wear makeup. I was kind of a tomboy and I was totally petrified to go to this glamour shots place, but I just cooperated and I wore the feather boa and like the leather jacket where you hold your collar, you know, and uh, the, the chin, you know, and the big hair. and. That was fine, and then we left and drove home, and there was actually a surprise party when I got there. So that was really cool. I had friends from all over come. Um, it was a big, huge to-do, but which was amazing, but I was still in full glamour shop mode when I walked in. <laughs> Everyone was like, what? Because that was something that I ever did. So it was memorable in a good way. But also in kind of a an embarrassing, humiliating things like that. You know, that wasn't your normal look. <laughs> no, I didn't normally hold my collar, <laughs> curls. Yeah, puckery lips. No, I I've had a glamour look. shot before. Everyone has to do it once, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, um, I was I keep trying to find some people, but I'm, I'm trying to coerce people into jumping into our hangout. And everybody's really shy. Like people are like, no, no, no. So we're going to just keep going. I'm going to ask another question, and I'm going to keep trying to coerce our community to hop in. So, <laughs> Marissa, we're going to start with you this time. Um, what is your the best birthday present you ever got? What was it? Best oh, birthday present oh. you ever received? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Money? No. Yeah. Okay, so I guess when I was like five or six, I grew up as a tomboy too, and so when I was about five or six, I had a party and invited all the kids from the neighborhood, and there were boys and girls. There were mostly boys my age, which is why I grew up as a tomboy. And um, one of the boys gave me earrings. So I just got in my ear, like I had my ears pierced by then. And he had given me earrings, and I started to cry because I did not like earrings. My parents made me go put, a, go put them on, and I came downstairs crying. But my favorite one is probably what I remember the most, is the next kid who gave me something gave me this um, remote-controlled truck. Nice. And I, and I was all over that. I was completely happy with my remote-controlled truck, so that's probably the one that I remember the most. That's fantastic. I love that you got earrings and a remote control truck. <laughs> <laughs> the same it. birthday? Was that two separate birthdays or the same birthday? No, that was the same one. So I was crying, and then one minute later I was happy because I had this remote control truck. <laughs> That's that, funny. That is so funny. Jill, what about you? Well, I have to say my Letterman jacket is pretty high up on the list, but when you said that, it made me think of, I remember when I was 16 that a boyfriend gave me a birthday present. I love pearls. And he gave me a white pearl and a black pearl in a ring. It like, oh. anyways, and and I didn't cry. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> you cried. You cried happy tears. Yes, I just thought that was so thoughtful. Do you he, still have it? I do still have it. Are you wearing it right now? 
No. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> but that was a pretty, that was a really, he, he, he went out and tried to, and made it special for me. Yeah, he cool. crafted this ring because he did a black pearl and a white pearl in it. So, and I'm thinking, I, I don't know, I've had many birthdays <laughs> since then, but those are obviously very memorable, those two. No, those are good. Those are good. So, um, birth, best birthday present ever. I came up with this question, and I don't have a single answer. Um, <laughs> Clearly, we need to buy you a really cool birthday present. <laughs> you know, my birthday is like 10 months away, or I don't even know because I can't do math, but it's next year. Um, best birthday present ever. I honestly can only think of one birthday present I've ever gotten right now. And uh, it wouldn't make any sense. It's it's a particular tool you have to do when you're working with hot, or tool you have to have when you're working with hot glass, which is a hobby of mine. And there are these glasses, and they're like a hundred bucks, and I never spend that kind of money. And my husband bought them for me, and I it was like the greatest thing ever. That's all. I mean, that's kind of random, and it, you know, but that's the only thing I can even think of. I don't know if it was the best ever, but it was pretty awesome. You know what I love as an adult, like as a mom, I, I don't even think I care about birthday presents anymore. I think that's why I had to revert back to like when I was, you know, before yeah. 20s. I just love to make cards. Like I love when my kids like pull out construction paper and write those I love you messages. And to me, like that is worth more than money or jewelry or any kind of article that I would get. So um, I just... I, I could show you a million cards that my kids that I've kept over the years that mean more to me than anything. So those are the best birthday presents. You're you're so right, and I'm glad that you kind of brought it back around to a focus on family because I think that families are really what make birthdays special, right? I mean that's kind of what makes any any event like that um, memorable. So we'll go to one more question. We're gonna keep it short. Oh look, we have a visitor! Yay! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Want to go ahead and introduce yourself? No. Oh, you know what? I have it playing on the on a different tab. Hold on, let me close it. Okay, yeah. Come on over and introduce yourself. We're so glad that you're brave. We are so glad you're here. How are you? Good. Uh, so I'm Amber, and I blog it because babies grow up, and I was at the Family Forward Conference. Yes. yes. And here's Scott, who loves to sing happy birthday. Hey, Scott. Can you tell him happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's so awesome. That is so cute. So we're going we're gonna to go back and have you answer the first two questions. Are you up for it? Oh, sure. Okay, so first question, most memorable birthday. My, um, my car. Yeah, you see someone's car? Yeah. Um, my most memorable birthday. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I'm trying to think. My dad took me to Chuck E. Cheese when I was little for my birthday, and I've always remembered that one. That was really fun. Too. Yeah, you like to go to Chuck E. Cheese, don't you? Yes. Yeah. How about best birthday present ever? Best birthday <laughs> present ever. Um, hmm. I got to do a study abroad when I was in college, and I was there on my birthday. Oh, that was cool. Kind of special. Oh, that's Cool. That Where'd was, you go? My host family bought me an Austrian chocolate cake, and it was really fun. Oh my gosh! Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, that trumped cool. our stories. <laughs> yeah. I winner. Right Although so I do that, love pearls, my husband gave me pearls for Christmas one year. I like pearls too. Yes. I'm sorry that I said anything bad about pearls. <laughs> <laughs> You lovely ladies, I'm sure, look elegant in your pearls. <laughs> so there, I have nothing against pearls. I just want to make. I just want to set the record straight. <laughs> have another Yay! guest. Yay! We have someone else. She's, she's coming. It's just taking a second to load. So while she's loading, let's talk about cake. Ooh, cake. So. I like cake. What? <laughs> okay. Let's cake let's, in let's our house. start with you then. So ideal birthday. Cake. So you don't have to do a cake. Like my kids don't like cake. We do pie or we do apple pie for me or something like that because my yeah. kids don't like cake either. So if you had a birthday treat, 
with a candle in it, what would you choose? Okay, Apple pie. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Jennifer. Am I on here? You are. Harry. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here. We see you every week um, at our our weekly hangouts, and I'm so happy that we have you popping in. Can you hear us okay? Are you talking to Sherry? I'm talking to Jennifer, but Sherry, we can talk to you. <laughs> oh, okay. I just was wondering if you heard me, if I if I caught the call or not. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're totally here. We don't have your video feed, but we have your cute little profile picture. Oh, okay. That's probably better. <laughs> Oh, I totally understand that. Um, so, Sherry, Sherry, tell us really quick about your most memorable birthday. Oh, my most memorable. I'm so happy that you're here. We see you every week um, at our our weekly hangouts, and I'm so happy there's some popping in. Back. There we go. Okay, are you guys there? Okay. Are you talking to Sherry? Yeah, Sherry, go ahead and tell us about your most memorable birthday. Oh, okay. I just was wondering if you heard me, if I if I caught the call or not. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Your cute little profile picture. Oh, that's probably I think that we're having a total... Oh, I totally understand. Um, so Sherry, Sherry, tell us your most memorable birthday. Oh, my most memorable birthday. Okay, everybody. So this has turned into madness of me talking on top of me talking on top of me. Yeah, sure. So if you ever wanted to talk to me in multiple me's, now is your chance. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, everybody. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the giveaways that are going on? Can you? Or Marissa? Yeah, let Marissa do it. Okay, so with our Twitter, we're having a Twitter party tonight to celebrate our fifth birthday. Very exciting. And tonight it's going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And we're just going to be celebrating our fifth day. During the Twitter chat, we're gonna you're gonna have an opportunity to enter into our in chat giveaway and win uh, enter to win a one hundred dollar gift card. There are and then we're also hosting a giveaway post in our giveaway post on momentforward.com you can enter to receive a, a one hundred dollar gift card as well. So there's multiple ways for you to do it. For tonight, make sure you join the in chat Twitter party, nine PM Eastern time and what you need to do and then you'll be all set. Awesome. Thank you, Marissa. And there's also an Instagram giveaway going on right now. I put the links for all of this stuff in the feed of our of our hangout today. So you can go to our website and grab all of those. Um, there's some fun things going on uh, in each of those platforms. So Sherry, do we still have you? Yes, I'm here. I'm back. Amber and Sherry. Amber, yes. we already talked about your most memorable birthday, right? Yes. Okay, Sherry, go ahead and tell us really quick about your most memorable birthday. Um, oh, this is terrible. I don't really have a most memorable birthday. When I was growing up, I didn't really have a birthday thing. So uh, I try to make, I just try to Good. That's such a good point. I love the idea of how we can focus on making memorable birthdays for others. That's really, really cool. So, uh, Marissa, we were talking about birthday cake, and you were saying you wanted apple pie. Yes. Okay, so, Amber, what about you? What's your ideal birthday cake? Um, I like chocolate cake with fudge chocolate frosting. I like chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, the chocolate chips. The cake. Yes, I love that. Uh, Jill, what about you? Jill's so hungry for chocolate cake, she's gone to get some. <laughs> Sorry, I keep being logged in and out for some reason. Oh, Are you okay. my favorite cake? Yeah. 
Um, my favorite cake of all times is German chocolate with that coconut frosting that goes on the top. Um, I love that. The pecan? Yes, it's my favorite. I, and I'm not a huge chocolate person, but for some reason I love that cake. But when my kids were little, I used to like have theme birthdays and like ask them what they wanted. So if I were to think back like at my favorite cake I ever made my kids, my little boy Andrew had a pirate party. And I put two cakes on top of each other and like I opened the cake and then put all this money and jewelry and stuff coming out and it looked like a treasure chest. Yeah. I used to have time to do cakes like that. <laughs> oh, and I've gotten boring as my kids have gotten older. But I love to have a theme party and, you know, I've made the Barbie doll cake for my daughter and lit it and the hair caught on fire. I've done all of that. So I just think that adds to the fun of a birthday party. Yeah, we totally did that, and we replaced the head with a radish. After the uh, hair, we're like, let's put something on here, and it, and it was radish Barbie. Uh, that <laughs> is so funny. Everybody has to make one of those cakes once in their life. It's pretty yes, fun. yes, totally. And Sherry Lynn, yes. What about you? Did we already talk about your birthday cake? I don't think we did. Oh, my favorite birthday cake is that what? Yeah. Um, I really like. I like the old-fashioned German chocolate with the, what is that, the walnut frosting with coconut on top of it. Yeah, I love that. Now, Sherry Lynn, do you also like pearls? <laughs> Who doesn't love pearls? <laughs> <laughs> you, <best friends. laughs> you guys could start a gang. Yeah, a, gang a, a, a friendly gang. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, well, I think we're going to call it for today. We just wanted to hop on and give this a shot. Um, I think it's really fun that you guys hopped in. Amber and Sherry Lynn, I know we had Jennifer, and we had someone else, too, for a minute. But now I can't remember who. I'll have to look back at the video feed. But it's so <laughs> fun to have you guys hop in. Everyone, too, that didn't join in will still have access to this video live. And we'll still have the opportunity to hop in and enter the Instagram giveaway. I think it ends tonight at seven. I have it right here. Let me look. It ends today at, oh no, I'm sorry. It's not until just before midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight. Um, no. It says, we'll be salivating over your photos all day long and a random winner will be selected at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So we're going to, you just need to post a picture of a cake on Instagram and tag us and also use our birthday hashtag, which is hashtag GNO fifth birthday. And make sure to tag Mommy Forward in the picture. And a uh, lucky winner will, will be selected out of that group. And then also Marissa mentioned the Twitter chat that's happening. And there's some giveaways there, too. So take a look at us in all of those spaces. And as always, thank you for the support that you give us in our communities. And we, we appreciate all that you guys do to contribute. And thank you, you brave ladies, for jumping in. <laughs> our impromptu inaugural, we've never done this before, inaugural <laughs> random hangout. So thanks you so much, and you guys have a great day. Bye. Thanks, See you tonight. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.